The year is 1817, and here in the galleries of justice, 21-year-old Daniel Diggle is about to be sentenced to death for attempted murder. His hanging sounded the death knell for the Luddite uprising, which started here in Nottingham. It's hard to believe that our story begins with a simple domestic scene here in Calverton. The Reverend William Lee was in love with a lady who was always knitting. So in order to woo her, he invented the stocking frame knitting machine to speed the whole process up. It took another two centuries for his invention to take off here in Britain, and when it did, it caused a revolution. After a series of bad harvests and the war with France, the fear of loss of jobs and starvation was the last straw. Exactly 200 years ago, here in Nottingham, the knitter's frustration erupted in revolution and frame smashing. It started in Arnold, and over 60 frames were destroyed in just one night. Public support was strong. Despite a tempting reward of over £200, the authorities couldn't find out who did it. The rioters published a declaration. Postal address, Ned Ludd's office, Sherwood Forest. Ned Ludd didn't exist, although there had been a Ned Ludd from Anstey in Leicestershire. 30 years earlier, he'd smashed up two machines. The frame breakers took on his persona and became known as Luddites. Rioting spread with major destruction in the north of England. The government feared a French-style revolution, and their response was to make frame-breaking a capital offence. Hence the show trial of poor Daniel Deagle. The rebels had always said they were misunderstood. They were never against technology. They claimed the frames were turning out an inferior garment, and that production would be moved abroad to arch-rivals France. And their legacy? Well, sadly, the word Luddite means someone who opposes technology, not someone who embraces craftsmanship. But we are left with this rather fine museum here in Ruddington.